first riddle is about me. It's about you? Yeah, Azzy owned a toy shop. I knew it. I knew you had a side hustle going on. Toys! <laughs> One morning, somebody attacked her. No, Azzy, no! no. Why did they do that to me? Why did they do that to me? They stole the money from the register. Oh, Azzy, I'm just, I'm so sorry. Just, I'm just trying to run a toy shop. Why they gotta do me dirty like that? This is really hard for Azzy to talk about, guys, so we gotta be supportive. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> the police suspected three employees. It was even an employee? This is... This is this is rough. They questioned them. <laughs> Imagine they named one of you, them you. <laughs> the second one's me, actually. Mari, the sales assistant. I was helping a customer choose a present for his kid. I couldn't have bashed her in the head. Hi, I'm uh, Jonathan, the janitor. I was cleaning the floors all day. They were so dirty. No, Ozzy. She means well, but she's messy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep the floors clean. You were jealous, so you doinked her. I know it. And I'm Cassie, the manager. I was on my lunch break. <laughs> Couldn't have been me. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do me like that, I know it. Yeah, no, it can't can't be the manager. Who is the thief? Okay, uh, what what time in the day did this happen? Morning. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Cassie. Oh, uh, Azzy, <laughs> listen, I <laughs> didn't know you were on <laughs> shift. You have some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was the morning. <laughs> Hey, haven't you ever heard of brunch? I was having some cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe's good. You know what, I can excuse it. Yeah, little forget cantaloupe. Forget and forget, why would she be on her lunch break? It's still a morning. A pathological liar. You would never do that, you're a No, good never, no, never, never the ever. The bestest, the bestest. I was framed. <laughs> you were framed by Linda, the manager. It was a warm summer day. And Liliana was traveling in the mountains. Hit, hack, hick. Oh, she fit. She got completely lost, though. She's fit, but directionally challenged. <laughs> Help me! Suddenly, she came to a crossroad. There were four different roads. Okay, wait, stop. <laughs> Rock, Rock on. on. <laughs> <laughs> but the signs had no words. Ooh. Um, A-okay or delicious. Oh. Hmm. And, uh, uh, what is this? The, the, the one where you cross your finger? What is that oh. for? Like, if you keep a promise, or? No, this is when you're lying. You, like, do this oh, when you're, like, telling someone something, but you're secretly, like, eh. I didn't know that. Oh, the more you know. Which way did she choose? I would go the rock on way. Or the delicious <laughs> way for food. Yeah, I'd, I'd go A-OK. -okay. <laughs> it's OK. The right hand. Ah. Uh, oh, all the rest were left hands. Oh, I never would have guessed. I mean, I wouldn't either, but they, oh, no, they're not. Or are they? Yeah, they are. Oh. Yeah, the rest are left hands. Cassie, listen up. You're about to win $1 million on a TV show. It's a Me? big day for you, girl. <gasps> yeah, you're about to be rich. Let's go. But you have to answer the last question still. You're falling with a parachute. Where would you land? The ground. The jungle. Oh, full of poisonous creatures. Okay, all right. No. Oh, no, that there's a catch here. Oh. You know, look at all those spiders wanting to just sink their venom into you. The deep well, which you won't get out of, and possibly, uh, Seri uh what's her name from Seven Seven Rings? Uh, Rings? Ariana? No. <laughs> a horror movie. Okay, not the well. That's horrible. Because how are you gonna climb out? The ice sea of Switzerland, where <gasps> you'll freeze to death. No. That sounds like the worst so far. Okay, no, I think this is the worst. Oh, <laughs> true. The crater of a <laughs> volcano. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I have a plan. I got a plan too. Okay, right, let's see plan? if our plan's the same. My plan is that, you know, if we land in the well, our parachute will be stuck at the top and then we can pull ourselves up. Okay, that's that's risky, Azzy. That's really risky. I'm I'm willing to take a risk. I'm not about to land in a volcano, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so I, on the other hand, I'm gonna land in the volcano. What? Yeah, I'm landing Why? in the volcano and it was nice knowing you. Because Girl. It, what if it's not an active volcano? True. What if it's just dried magma? I have a third option. What? Land in, in the ice water because it's about to be frozen. Oh. You can just, you can just, yeah, yeah just walk over Switzerland, go visit <laughs> the Alps, go skiing. You know, life's gonna be good. On the other hand, poisonous creatures don't usually bother you unless you bother them. Oh no. So we like all options. <laughs> We're here for all of them. <laughs> I'm going for the volcano. I don't know about you. Okay, I'm going for the ice. I'm about to survive. You're about I to be jealous. Know. Cass, I'm worried about you. I'm gonna come nah. save you. If I, if I live on the ice, I'm gonna go straight to this volcano and pull you out. Yeah, bring some ice over, cause I'll be hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, you're I'm right. your way. Oh wait, there's no, no, I wasn't right. There's no sea in Switzerland, but we're both oh. stupid. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, the Switzerland Sea. Never heard of it? I do think it sounded weird, but I don't know my geography <laughs> that well to question seven second riddles. Peter and Mia, we're getting ready for a Christmas party. They're a bit late, Christmas passed, but you know. Yeah, come on guys, get with the program. They decorated the house, and now we're decorating the tree. Mia told Peter that she wants a new iPhone for Christmas. You better get it for me, otherwise we're breaking up. But you have one already. Why do you need two? I want the new one. Listen, I bought it two years ago. It's old and I want a new one. Hello? It's like you don't understand me at all. <sighs> Fine. Thank you. Love you. But the condition. I'll buy you an iPhone only if you can solve a puzzle. Oh my goodness, why? Because we don't do things for free over here. Fine. Gotta work for it, lady. Right. Here's a beautiful Christmas ball. You need to cut the thread in half without breaking the ball. If it falls to the floor, it breaks. Plus, you can't touch the ball. Oh. 30 minutes later, Peter was buying a new iPhone. <laughs> oh, How did Mia no. do it? Because she solved it. How did she solve it? Cut it in half without touching the ball? But if it falls, it breaks. Oh. Like, can you put something underneath it? Or does that count as touching the ball? Yeah, do it over top of the cat's head. Oh, that cat looks so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, like, right? Like, put something soft underneath and then cut it? It depends what the rope is made out of. Because what if it's like yarn and you could just like unwind it into half? Ooh, Do I sound true. crazy? Or, okay. What if you, they said you can't touch the ball, but they didn't say you can't touch the yarn? True. Maybe, what oh, if true. you held the yarn, cut it in half? Da, 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 da. Yeah, easy. Right? But I still like like our first option of dropping on the cat. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Twitch streamers. Um, oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, Wait. Oh. oh, you tie it and then you cut it. Oh, oh. Just, ah. okay. That was well, oddly specific. How were we supposed yeah. to guess that? I never would have. Ed worked as a window washer. Squish, 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 squish. While he was washing the window on the 25th floor. Oh, no, get down. Ed. It's too dangerous. He no. still fell down. Don't they have harnesses for this? Like, what is this? Ed, no. Ed. But, you know, he didn't even have a scratch. Not really? even a scratch on his body. He was fine. He didn't put on his safety tether on for that day because he's stupid. <laughs> Why wouldn't yeah, you? He's awful. He's just, he's the worst. How did he live? How did he live? How did he survive, Cass? I honestly have no idea. Maybe there were balconies on that particular building. Oh, and then he like grabbed onto the balcony? Yeah. It's awfully risky. Yeah, very risky. Maybe, he, oh, maybe he slipped and fell inside. Indoors. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe he was staring at what was going on in that office and then accidentally fell in. Honestly, sometimes I see like window washers and like going down the window and it like creeps me out. I'm like, are they watching me? <laughs> I always close the blinds. I'm like, sorry guys. Well, it's, it's not like a free reflective. Show. I don't think they can actually see me because like I look at them and they never look back. Okay, let's find out. But he did survive. Oh, oh. oh. he was washing the window from the inside. Oh, <laughs> that was just obvious. Was okay, so he did slip inside. He did. And his Job technically, not that scary. Nope, and technically not he wouldn't need any harness. Brad suspected his girlfriend Jane was cheating on him, but he didn't know who her lover could be. Look at her dancing on one foot. One night they were hanging out real late at the club. They didn't have money for a taxi. Sell the Louboutins. <laughs> and Brad suggested staying at his friend's place. This is my girlfriend Jane. She's a real looker, huh? This is Dave. Why don't you guys shake hands? In the morning, Dave left for work early. Brad and Jane decided to have breakfast before leaving. Pass me the sugar, please, honey. It's empty. Oh, jeez. Sorry, honey. But Brad immediately realized that Jane had an affair with Dave. No! How did he know this? Cass, how did he know this? I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I think so. Like, how did she know where the sugar was? Because she's been there before and she's rummaged she's through those cupboards. There. She knows things. Yeah, she does. She knows too much. Could have at least played dumb for a second. The truth always comes out. Mm -hmm. Stan is locked on the top of a building. It is 200 meters high. Careful, bud. There's a hook on the roof, though. And another hook 100 meters down from it. <gasps> Stan has a 150 meter long rope and a sharp knife. How can he climb down safely? Oh, geez. Uh, wait, so he's 200 meters high yeah. and has 150 meter long rope. Yeah. On the, this is scary. I mean, <laughs> can't he just like call down? Can't somebody come help him? Yeah, I, I just stomp on the roof. Yeah, help! Help, wave his arms. <laughs> but that's, I don't think what they want us to do. No, they want us to use that rope. Okay. Well, the rope can go from hook to hook. Mm -hmm. So like maybe he can tie it to the first hook, shimmy down, grab the second hook, tie it to the second hook, climb back up, untie it. <laughs> Wait, no, that's dangerous. And then Tarzan is, <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> that's all I got, girl. That's all I got. <laughs> Honestly, that's better than what I could have come up with. Okay, well, let's see what the answer is. <laughs> you should cut the rope into two parts, 100 meters and 50 meters. Make a knot at the end of the shorter rope and put the longer one through it. Then he should slide down the ropes and untie the longer rope to be able to what? use it once again. <laughs> You know what? This guy's got a big brain and I can't relate. Yeah, I would have Tarzan down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have found this lot more, lot more drama. Her pet meant everything to her. I love you. Everything. Wow. And her python returned her affections. He loved her back. But then one day it stopped eating. Oh no. Oh no, poor python. Whatever its owner did, her pet wouldn't eat. Frightened, she showed it to the vet. Doctor, help! He won't eat anything! My python! I love him. At night, he coils himself around me and I don't know how to help him! Oh, that's a little dangerous, Oh, girl. yeah, that's scary. Yeah, you <laughs> sleep with your python. Like, <laughs> she want to get eaten? You came to me on time. Your pet is healthy. Really? He's not eating for one reason. What happened to the python? Is he, like, trying to eat her or something? I think so. Because he, like, you coils know? around her at night. Yeah, like, is he just making room? <laughs> Emptying out those intestines? Maybe the snake like only likes living targets. Oh, maybe. Like he's like I know a friend man. who had a snake that only liked living bait. Oh, that's and scary. Yeah, I hated it. They like the hunt. Yeah. He's getting oh! ready to eat you! No! His embraces weren't a sign of love, you crazy woman. He was estimating <laughs> your size. He's a reptile. He doesn't love you. He's freeing up space in his stomach to digest you. Oh! <gasps> No. That's why he stopped eating. I guess maybe you shouldn't cuddle with a snake. <laughs> yeah, definitely like, not. That's cool. Have one as a pet, but like, maybe, you know, while you're unconscious, like, <laughs> don't be afraid of an enemy that looks you straight in the eyes. Be afraid of a false friend who embraces you. Oh, he's a snake after all. He's a snake. Once a man was sentenced to death for a crime he had committed. Oh, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. But the king was a kind person, his understanding man, and allowed him to choose the way in which he would die. Oh, how nice. How nice of him. The Appreciate man managed it. to say something that saved his life. What death did he choose? Oh. Oh. Old age. Oh, good one. <laughs> That's a great one. That's what I'd choose. He chose to die of old age. Cass. Hey! Genius. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Daisy works for a big company making robotic doggies. Ooh, Daisy. <laughs> I know. They're security dogs and they react to movement. They're so cute. I love them. <laughs> but one day the robotic dogs went out of control. Oh no. Oh. They're taking over. They destroyed the lab. You made them too smart. Daisy managed to hide though because she's still smarter than them. <laughs> now she needs to escape as soon as possible. Daisy can see three objects. A bat, a water squirter, or a small ball. Which one will get her out of this? I don't know. Like I feel like with a water squirter you can like destroy the robots because they're made out of electronics after all. I don't have the patience for that. I'm taking the bat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take my water squirter and I'll squirt them with water. And I'll have the bat for when you run out of water. Or maybe a small ball can distract them. Oh, she could choose the bat to fight the dogs. I thought you were right. Oh, no. Oh. But there are too many of them. Well, what do you expect me to do? Like, play fetch with them. She could choose the water squirter, but it's small and pretty much useless, so. Don't tell me these robot dogs are gonna chase the ball. The no, small ball get out is the right here. choice. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're robots, they're still dogs, Cass. Uh, okay. No, no dog right. can resist a ball. Less lesson learned. You are traveling with your friend. Love doing that. Around the enchanted islands. It's so beautiful Ooh. there. Suddenly, which appear in the sky. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go home. This is enough. They kidnapped your friend. <laughs> oh. I'm laughing because it just looks funny. It took him to their island in the sky. You have to get to their castle at night. There are some animals in the magical forest, though. A unicorn. Majestic. Super majestic. A pegasus. Ooh. Ooh. Even more majestic. A griffin. Which animal would you choose? Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe the unicorn? I mean, not the unicorn. The pegasus. So we can fly up there. <laughs> the griffin's the only one that's dark and we're sneaking in at night, so I think it's the griffin. Oh, you're so smart. It's definitely the griffin. It's gotta be. Otherwise, I'll be mad. You got this. It can fly over the sea. Why can't the pegasus? Yeah, and the witches won't see it in the night sky. You were right. Yeah. Because it's black and dark like the night mm -hmm. sky. The videos were so much fun. Oh, it always is, girl. So much fun. I can't wait to do more over on yours. All right, let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.